All right, I'm going to read out the four logs that the Scrivener crew took from the Hesperus and which they were at the time unable to decode for themselves and we don't know if they have since or not, but the players have a joint effort between Canon and people on the forum have deciphered them and they make for some pretty grim reading. I'm going to read them out here rather than putting them in the text. So if you don't want to be spoiled, do not watch this video. If you don't mind being spoiled, stick around. Emergency Log 1. This is Lieutenant Kellerman, Deputy Acting Security Chief on the Hesperus. I have to report that the ship has been overtaken by enemy soldiers. Most of the crew are either dead or in hiding, like us. It's Farmer Sapien. Has to be. They had sleeper agents on board, including some of my own troops. How the hell did they avoid our checks? They must have been waiting all this time, but today they just... Opened fire. Cut down most of the security first, including Major Umaru, then the bridge crew. The rest were marched into the cargo holds at gunpoint. In an hour, they controlled the Hesperus. Private Velasco and I managed to gather about half of the science team. And we've made it to the aft engineering levels without being spotted. I've disabled the sensor suites, so they'll have to search for us in person, which should buy us a few hours. I've fought Farmer Sapien mercenaries before. Infiltration is their speciality, but this is the biggest operation they've ever pulled. Unless... Maybe the same thing happened to the Adamaster. Makes sense. If they attacked either them or us using ships, proximity sensors would have automatically sent a distress signal to Azimuth. Farmer Sapien must know about our probes then, and that they found signs of non-human artefacts. And that means they'll kill anyone to get to them first. The scientists are asking me what's our next step. That's easy, we survive. But I don't have a clue how. How can I save these people? Lieutenant Kellerman, emergency log, final entry. We've managed to move around undetected for several hours now, although it feels like the ship is deserted. The cargo holds had hundreds of people imprisoned there. We could hear their shouts ringing through the corridors, but suddenly they all went quiet. Did Farmer Sapien? My God, those psychopaths. We have a plan to jump ship. Velasco has volunteered to use explosive charges to create a distraction while I lead everyone to the launch base. I've ordered her to rejoin us and not be a hero. I can't afford to lose her. They haven't managed to block my command codes yet, so I'll be able to get full control of all the secondary exploration craft. A few of the scientists have piloting experience, fortunately. Some of them even want to continue the mission, saying that there are systems within range that may contain alien artefacts. Let's see if we get out alive first. I'm going to encrypt these logs in the central computer so Farmer Sapien won't detect them. But Azimuth will, and at least they'll know what happened assuming they ever managed to retake the Hesperus. Logs 3 and 4 were found on a drive in an empty environmental suit. Log 3 recording. This is Junior Engineer O'Neill. I've just come back into the ship and found everyone poisoned. Gassed. They're lying on the floor with their eyes and their mouths all... Oh my God. Something's killed them all. I was out on the hull. We've been searching for non-human signals using Azimuth's data to try and locate what they were looking for. The chief started wondering if the sensor arrays were damaged, so I went out to check. Lost all comms. Came back through the airlock and found... Can't risk taking my suit off. This poison gas is probably still in the air. I might be the only one left alive unless anyone else is suited. Have to go looking. There has to be someone else. Wait. Was this done deliberately? I know some of the Azimuth crew managed to escape. Have they got back on board? Is this them retaking their ship? I should encode this log in case they patch into my suit comms and track me. They might already know where I am. But I'm just an engineer. That's all I'll tell them. 
I'll tell them that Farmer Sapien only brought my team along to keep the Hesperus operational after they took over. That's all. They won't kill me too. They're not murderers. They're not like us. Log 4. I found out what's happened. The original crew didn't come back. It's just one woman who did this. I'm looking at her body right now. Poisoned like all the others. She's wearing a security uniform. ID badge says Velasco. She must have been left behind. And she killed everyone on board. I'm in the life support control centre. I realised how someone could have fed gas to all the living compartments by feeding it through the primary atmosphere processors. And I was right. I can see the chemical tanks marked toxic. They're from the scientist's storage hold. I think being piped into the ventilation network. That's how she did it. Wiped out every living thing, including herself. Everyone but me. I could tear all this down, but I can't contaminate the entire ship. There'll be pockets of these chemicals lingering everywhere, and just a few breaths would be enough to... My suit's running low on air. We have spare tanks, but how many? How long can I stay here? How do I... What do I do now? What do I do? And that's it. That's your four logs. Now, there is a search currently going on. And I will post a link in the video description to the sheet where you can see which areas have been searched already. People looking for alien artifacts, more information about the crew who escaped, whatever they can find. And as we get more on this story, I will bring it to you. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I hope this has helped some of you work out what's going on and get a handle on the whole situation. I'm Commander Phil P, bringing you the news as I get it.